everyone! So this video is a tag video. It is a little bit different to the other tags that I've been doing. It's called the More Than Beauty tag and what it is is a series of questions that aren't beauty related. So it'll help you guys get a better understanding of who I am and I thought it would be fun to share some of those details with you. So I'll try to get through as quickly as possible. Here we go. The first question is your favourite childhood memory. So <laughs> my childhood was pretty full on. Um, I was lucky growing up. I did get to travel quite a lot um, with my family and we lived overseas and we lived basically um, the whole east side of Australia. Uh, we lived there. Some of the fondest memories are probably from when I lived overseas in Papua New Guinea or PNG and we would go travelling to some of the islands. Um, there was one island in particular that you could see off um, the coast of Port Moresby and we called it the Dinosaur Island because it looked a bit like a dinosaur but that was always really fun to actually just go away with the family whether it be a weekend or during school holidays and you go snorkeling and the water was crystal clear and it was really really beautiful um, another memory that I don't think at the time I appreciated it as much as I do now um, was when we actually got to go up to the Kokoda Trail which now I, I wouldn't do. Um, it's not safe. Um, at least it's, it's not as safe as it used to be. Um, even then it wasn't that safe. Um, but now I wouldn't go back there. Um, but yeah, that's another memory that I hold quite dear. That and when we got to go to Disneyland, that is definitely something that was special to me. And that's something that I want to do with my children one day as well. Uh, my quirky, do I have a quirky habit? Uh, it's not so much a habit, it's more of, um, well I guess it is a habit. Um, I like to organise things, so <laughs> it's kind of like OCD I guess. Um, I have things organised, as you can probably tell behind me, everything has a place, so all the things that are similar go together and everything is very organised. which. It gets annoying sometimes, particularly for people that I live with, <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess that would be a quirky habit. Um, number three, do I play sports? I don't anymore, um, but when I was younger I definitely used to. I think I've played soccer, football, uh, netball, swimming, um, competition swimming, physical culture, or Bajorky Peterson, it's kind of like a dance. Um, the girls in Australia will know what that is. Um, karate, self-defense, water polo. <laughs> that is really tough. Um, and then school sports. So, you know, nuke and ball, um, Oz tag, things like that. Um, but yeah, so a lot of sports when I was younger, particularly physical culture, which I did for 10 years. So that was fun. Um, next, moving on. Favorite book. To be honest, I don't really read. The only books that I've ever really read and enjoyed and gotten into, uh, one was quite stupid. It was actually a high school book that I had to read in the beginning of high school called Day of the Triffids. For some reason, I actually really liked that book. Um, and as I've gotten older, I like the books by Jodie Picoult. Um, but apart from that, I don't really read a lot. I just can't get into it. Um, number five, if you can invent something, what would it be? I, particularly in high school, I was known for my kooky, crazy um, inventions. Not so much now, um, but back then definitely I was. One of them that I still stick to and I still think it's a brilliant idea um, is that, you know, potato gems, little frozen things you get out of the freezer, like chips basically, or, or fries, but they're little balls, so like a little ball of a hash brown kind of thing, but mashed potato in the middle. Well, anyway, like potato gems, but they are self-sourcing, so the sauce is actually in the middle, so that way you don't get sauce all over your fingers, um, and you can eat them at the football and things like that, so I think that's a great idea. If it hasn't been done, then that's my idea. Um, if you could own your own business, what would you do? I would probably try to run a business somewhere focused obviously around the beauty industry, so like makeup, cosmetics. Um, if it wasn't related to that, it would probably be photography. I don't have any professional photography training, but it's something that I really want to do one day to get into that. Um, so yeah, it would probably be something, I mean, maybe even 
mixing the two together might be um, a good kind of business to run, particularly for, you know, formals and weddings and things like that. Number seven is someone you admire, but they don't know you. I guess it would kind of be like a ro role model, but I don't, to be honest, and I know this sounds really stupid, I don't actually have many role models that I don't know or that don't know me, so I don't really have any celebrity role models. Um, so I guess I'll have to just skip that question because most of the people that I admire are actually people that I know, so whether or not they be friends or family. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anybody that I admire who doesn't know me. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing though. Um, number eight, a talent that I wish I had. Um, definitely I want to, I wish I could draw. Um, I can't draw to save my life. Um, I can sing, I can dance, I can play music, I can write music, um, I can take decent photos, but I cannot draw and I really wish I could because I think it would come in rather handy. Um, number nine, something you wish you'd known two years ago? Um, I probably, at the moment where my partner and I are thinking about building a house further out um, to where we are now and I wish I had have known that that's what I was planning on doing when I got the job that I did now because instead of being a one hour to one and a half hour trip it would be two hours to two and a half hours so if I could have known that in advance I could have gotten a job closer to where I'm going to be living one day because um, it is quite difficult to find a role out there um, but apart from that, that's oh, man, apart from like winning a lot of numbers and things like that, that'd be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's probably the only thing that I wish I had have known two years ago. Number ten, um, what do you do to feel centered or relaxed? Um, I know it might seem kind of strange or kind of nerdy to some of you, but I used to play World of Warcraft, which is an online game. I don't anymore. I actually stopped playing last year. Um, but I used to play that to relax and I stopped when it wasn't relaxing anymore and it was actually becoming a bit too serious. Um, like the politics of the whole thing was a bit too much. Um, but yeah, I wonder how I might get back into it. it. It's just hard to find the time. If I get more time then, you know, it's good interaction. I met a heap of great people um, playing World of Warcraft. Um, apart from that, I like to sing, so that kind of relaxes me. Or just spending time just chilling out with my family and my dogs. <laughs> with my dog yawning. Um, number 11, who is someone in your life that makes you feel loved? Um, well, basically any of my family members, um, particularly my boyfriend. Um, also, they're not someone, I guess. Um, but they're my two toy poodles. Um, they will definitely make you feel loved. Um, so, yeah, I feel very, very much loved when they come and give me a snuggle. It's always cute. Uh, number 12. The most interesting place you've been and why? Like I said before, I travelled a heap when I was younger. Um, so it depends on what you mean by interesting. I mean... Papua New Guinea is definitely interesting. It's completely different to anywhere I've ever lived. Um, that's a hard one. I mean, New Zealand is absolutely stunning. Um, out of all the places that I've been, and I mean, even some places locally, like the Blue Mountains and the rainforests here in Australia, they're rather interesting too. Um, I mean Disneyland was kind of cool. But I'd probably say um, my favourite so far out of everywhere that I've been is probably New Zealand. So I want to go back there one day just to check out a bit more. Uh, number 13, three books you can't wait to read. I Again, I don't really read. Number 14, a cherished keepsake that you'll keep forever. There's two things that kind of spring to mind. One is a panda bear toy, a stuffed animal. It was about that big. 
or so that my Nana gave to me when I was three. At the time, apparently, and I can't remember this, so I'm just taking my parents' word for it, I threw it across the room because I hated it. Um, after that, though, they couldn't pry it out of my hands, and I still have it to this day, and that was 23 years ago. Um, another one that I do cherish is when my grandma passed away. Um, I got one of her rings, and that's something that I definitely cherish. Uh, every event or interview or anything like that I've ever gone to, I've worn that, whether it be on a chain or actually on my finger. It's kind of like my good luck charm. The only time that I hadn't worn the ring um, was when I went into hospital the last time. And the only reason I didn't wear it is because I wasn't allowed to wear jewellery. If I was, it definitely would have put on my finger. Um, so that's kind of special. And the last one is something you really want to do or see before you die. Um, so there's a couple of things. I want to build my own house, which is a possibility. Um, so that's exciting. I would like to get married when I have the money for it. <laughs> um, I want to have children. I'd love to have a boy and a girl. But as long as they're healthy, probably one or two children. Uh, I do want to travel. I want to go back to New Zealand. Um, I want to go to the States again. Um, probably once with four children. And then I want to take my kids to Disneyland and let them experience that too. And I do want to go to the UK and Canada. Um, as well. So <laughs> there's a lot of things to fit into a short period of time but um, yeah hard work and everything else it should be possible to do at least some of those things. Uh, definitely before I die but not sure how soon to now I can get them done so the sooner the better. Um, so that's it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something new about me. Um, and feel free to ask the questions. I will cut and paste them below so that way all you need to do is the same. So just cut and paste and yeah, post the video. If you want, make it a video response because I'd love to learn a bit more about you guys too. I always find it fun to watch these videos that are slightly different and um, that way I get to learn a bit more about who that person actually is. Um, so I think that's always interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you again really, really soon. Bye.